Hi. Hey. So I hope you can hear me. I have started a fall wardrobe challenge. And this is just basic information about how that's going for me so far. Um, the way this, it's a capsule challenge. And if you're unfamiliar with capsule challenges, it means that I'm looking at my wardrobe in core pieces. So I went through my wardrobe, took out things that I said would not be a part of this challenge, and I'm really trying to get rid of them. They're either going to be sold. I'm looking into thread up. I thought I would have an event in my house, but my schedule didn't work out. I ended up traveling. Um, I tried to be a part of a local garage sale movement, which was pretty cool, but I was too late to get my form in. So I just have all this stuff that I'm trying to get rid of now. And I'm working with 20 core pieces. Now, if you don't know me, then you are unfamiliar with how unprepared I am for life on a regular basis. And it, it makes no sense, really. I've just accepted it as part of who I am. It's part of the adventure of being me and the spontaneity I bring to my own spice of life. But um, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I'll know a storm is coming and have not gone grocery shopping, no shovel, just completely unprepared, no salt, just in the house with half a pint of chocolate chip ice cream and um, soup with too much sodium in it stuck. So that's almost how I am with this challenge. I said I would have 20 core pieces, um, three outerwear pieces, four pairs of shoes, eight accessories, and six jewelry items. That's what I said I'm going to have. And that's it. Like when I say that's what I'm going to have, that's all I will have in my home from September 22nd to December 20th, which is all of autumn. It's September 28th today. And, um, I'm not prepared. I'm not, I'm struggling. Um, I have a few unique challenges for me within this challenge. I'm a nursing mama. So um, everything's got to be accessible to be able to nurse if I'm out. And when I'm at work, like I am now, I have to be able to pump. So everything has to have some kind of front opening or side opening. I, I'm not interested in pumping at work and completely taking off my clothes, which is what many many working pumping mamas do more power to you um i'm just i'd like to avoid that if possible and um i didn't do the shopping i was supposed to do before the challenge i knew i didn't have everything i needed nevertheless i've been good i've been good i've been sticking to the things that i do have that i said i was gonna wear so i've been repeating a lot of outfits <laughs> um Let's see, I should be able to, so this white button down shirt is currently part of the challenge and I don't really want to wear it. I thought, you know, it's a classic, it's a staple, the white button down shirt, but it doesn't fit me well. I have yet after K through 12 parochial school with uniform, often including the white button down shirt, I have yet to find a white button down shirt that fits me well. And especially nursing and pumping. You know, the breast size is kind of changing. Um, I can't find a fitted, sleek shirt. And I'm wondering, is it undergarments? Should I be wearing different undergarments? Or is it really just me? And maybe I need to give up the ghost with the shirt. It has come in in the clutch, um, especially as we start this challenge. But I'm trying to find a way out of it. I think what works better for me and my personality um, and my life would be if I could find a cotton zip up, maybe mock turtleneck top, then I would retire this. So that leads me to another rule I have self-imposed in this challenge. If I get rid of a shirt or another item, if I get rid of a pair of shoes, if I get rid of a pair of pants, um, it, it's it's got to be a one-time swap. So if I swap this out, I can't swap it back in. And whatever I swap it for, I have to keep, right? Because this is really about having that core and working with that core. It's not about constant swaps. So I might cap my swaps. This is definitely looking to be one of my first swaps, though. Like, I'm not interested in keeping the classic white button down shirt in my capsule and I want to exist without it. Um, so yeah, I've got to get rid of it. And I do have in my mind the mock turtleneck 
zip up white um, top. Probably something I would find at like Models or Dick's Sporting Goods would work because it would look fine under a blazer with a necklace. It would look fine um, with a scarf wrapped around it. No low key on the weekend. I need versatility. I need functionality. And I need something that's fresh and um, stylish. So that'll work. Um, so yeah, that's, that's some of the rules. So my 20 core pieces include, I think, I don't want to go through the whole thing because I'll tell you what I have now. I have a navy dress um, that has a zip in the back, but while I'm nursing and pumping, I turn all my dresses around so the zip is in the front. Got that cool tip from my friend Andrea, who's a LuLaRoe consultant, and she's amazing. And it has been saving my life ever since <laughs> she told me to do that. Um, so shirts are, dresses are turned around. There's a dress that made it in because I noticed I kept wearing it, even though I said I was going to get rid of it. It's a black and white striped Old Navy tank dress that I've had for like way too long, but it's been holding up. I think part of the reason it's been holding up is because I married a dry cleaner and he's amazing and <laughs> takes care of my dry cleaning. So now my clothes are treated better. So Navy, sh Navy dress that black and white striped dress. Um, one of the things I'll be playing with during this challenge is putting skirts over dresses so that I don't have to buy more tops because I'll have these tops that zip down um, in the dress and I can just go over the dress with a skirt. So this skirt, some of you have seen on me before, it's got this fun ruffle bow and has a split in the front. This is a skirt with some room, and I was going to get rid of it, but it will fit nicely over that black and white striped dress I have and give me another outfit and um, works well with other tops. So I can dress it up, dress it down. We'll see how I do it. And I normally dress it up, so we'll see what I do with that. Um, so this skirt, obviously this top is in it for now. The navy dress, the black and white striped dress. Um, I have a navy suit. I don't like black suits. Black suits remind me of the short time I worked in at Macy's. So I kind of avoid black suits. Um, so I do have this black skirt. I have a black blazer because it's just kind of, where was I going to go without a black blazer? Um, I also have a full circle African print skirt that many of you have seen me wear before. I got it from simplycecily.com. Um, Cecily makes amazing African print clothing. I suggest you check it out. I have a few items from her, but this is the one item in my challenge, and I'll be wearing that probably next week. Um, I also have a pair of gray slacks, and I have my black maternity pants. Um, these I wore in the clutch and they're just so comfortable they are for work but they make me because they're maternity pants i just feel like i'm so comfortable in them they're not the best fitting pants and they might get swapped out but for now they're in that's not 20 like i'm clearly missing stuff i have a red and white romper um and i already see the challenges in the romper in that you pretty much have to get completely naked to use the bathroom however it's a deep button down romper so I do have the space to nurse in it and that's what got it in and it has pockets pockets are a big deal for me in functionality so um it has pockets um trying to think what else I have in oh I have a scarf it's actually the woven wrap that I sell at my boutique all the lovely.com it came in in the summer it's super light Amina loves it. It is the easiest thing we have for nursing right now. She's at that stage where if I nurse her in public, she likes to pull the covering off of her. But this wrap is so light that um, we can survive. We can, we, can, <laughs> we can survive in it. I also have as one of my accessory pieces, um, another infinity nursing wrap that's white and gray, a little less, a little more casual than my woven wrap and um, can make an outfit look a little different. I have a pair of jeans, which is like the first pair of jeans I've owned in like two years, other than my maternity jeans that I had last year. And um, I have a pair of LuLaRoe leggings, the mustard, I think it's a good color for fall. Um, and they're super comfortable and buttery and I just love wearing them. Um, and I just purchased some stuff. 
I purchased a burgundy maternity dress. I mean, a burgundy nursing dress. So it's tiered, and when I get it, you'll see it. Um, and I purchased a cream nursing top that kind of wraps over, and I can nurse Amina from the side. We'll see if she's into that. And I got a regular nursing top, which just nursing, I mean, should I show you? Nursing tops are pretty much like there's something inside that I can snap to give access to my breast. So that's a nursing bra there. Um, and I wear them all the time now because I, this is actually from the Dairy Fairy, this bra I'm wearing. Um, a little more than I normally spend on brassieres, but well worth it because it's a hands-free nursing and pumping bra. It is, I will probably have to buy another one because it is the best thing to wear to work when I have to pump. Um, and so I love it from the Dairy Fairy. So that's where I am so far in my style challenge. As you can tell, I don't have everything yet. Um, there's an African print uh asymmetrical zip front peplum top that I really want. And I forgot to order it from Etsy. And y'all know how Etsy, the struggle, the struggle with our sisters with Etsy shops in the UK and Africa when I'm trying to order something. I might not get it till Christmas. So I'm asking another <laughs> um, seamstress I know um, who actually does her own designs and styles and is really amazing. She did the alterations and um, accessories for my wedding dress. I'm hoping she will come through, come through today, come through and make that peplum top for me. Um, and I have a pair of black um, fancier leggings than my LuLaRoe leggings. These I got from Kohl's last year before I knew I was pregnant and just thought I was gaining weight. But they're really cool. I think they're Vera Wang. Um, and those I can casual Friday or weekend wear. So I don't think that's 20 pieces, but that's what I've got so far. Um, outerwear, I have my raincoat and a denim top um and my actual like winter coat will be my other coat um jewelry items i have these earrings i have my crystal square studs all my jewelry except i'm not even counting my wedding band and engagement band let's not count those um and i don't count my glasses like i need my stuff but i don't i haven't picked out all the jewelry yet because I knew the fall line from my boutique would come out just in time and I didn't want to overdo it and I got the swap rule. So I've got these cool, these are vintage Chloe and Isabel, but I knew floral would be a trend for this um, fall. So I was really glad I had these and I have my crystal square cut studs, which are like go to look amazing, can wear with anything. Um, Trying to think as far as a pair of shoes, I've got a pair of black booties with um, heels. I've definitely got, you know, you need your riding boots for fall, like what is fall but boots. I've got a pair of black booties and I've got, um, I'm overdoing the shoes. I'm definitely over four pair because I also have a pair of sneakers. I'm not counting what I wear when I work out. That's not even, the, the aim there is not to be stylish. So I'm not counting what I wear when I work out. And accessories do include tights and those two scarves I talked about. So that's already for me five. Um, and within accessories, I'm also putting bags. My pumping bag does not count. This is not for fun. And I just wanna say, if you see, it's supposed to be conspicuous, right? Like you're not supposed to know this is a pumping bag, but people on the train get an attitude when I come on with all my bags. Women carry too many bags on the train. Women carry too many bags, period literally and figuratively. Um, but it's, anyway, my pumping bag doesn't count. My book bag does count. I make a choice with that book bag. It's not even for fashion, it's utilitarian. Um, so that counts and it's not even fashionable, but it's functional. And I have another African print bag that I wear. Um, I mean, this baby bag doesn't count, that's her stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much it for accessories, my three pair of tights which is going to be tough for me. I'm going to get a gray textured, um, a navy textured, and black opaque. Now, I can have more than one of them, but it's the same type. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same style. But I got more than one of each. I have, like, two of each or three. Like, my black opaque, I got, like, three pair of black opaque. But basically, it's the whole idea that it's the black opaque. In my accessories, I'm giving myself some, some space. 
Um, I'm pretty excited about this challenge. Y'all look out for pictures of outfits. I'm gonna try better to document, document, document. Um, it's hard in the morning, definitely, when I'm like trying to get Amina ready, trying to get myself ready to stop and take a selfie. Who has time? I might employ a colleague at work to take petty pics. Hashtag petty pics. <laughs> I might employ someone. And then on the weekend, I can um, I can figure it out. So that's about it. I just wanted to update you on my style challenge. Um, I feel like clothes carry a story. And I've been in my own head struggling with my style for so long. But I feel like doing this challenge will help me. I already know that my um, style is eclectic, but not in like a weird, oh, she's eclectic type of way. Just that I incorporate a lot of different styles. I'm classic. I like to be on trend, um, but most importantly, I want to be comfortable and um, I want my clothes to be versatile and functional. So um, I don't know if there's a name for that. It's pretty classic. I'm a pretty classic dresser, um, but every now and then, I, you know, y'all know me and my African prints. I like to throw a bold print in there, but um, I'm going to try to get pictures of all the things in my capsule and post those if case anyone wants to see and i will keep you posted join me if you like i'll try to update you and the place to look for updates will always be um www.whatalovelylady.wordpress.com i forgot the platform i was blogging on wordpress so whatalovelylady.wordpress.com and um, i know y'all like my hair I had some postpartum hair loss in addition to the dermatitis I've struggled with for the past few years. I have dermatitis. So this isn't as short as I wanted my shave to be. It's not as close, but I got to get that dermatitis worked out. And, you know, the cold weather coming is never a help for that. So got to stay moisturized and take care of my scalp. And this is the hair for now. These are still my locks. So I didn't cut all my locks, but I cut down the back and the sides because I was losing those locks anyway. And I got to remember to take my vitamins and my hypertension medicine. Um, having a baby will change your life. So that's it for now. Oh, and a lot of people love my glasses. People love my glasses. Thank you so much. They are Tom Ford's. Check me out. Um, and I got them at Tribeca Vision on Canal Street or off Canal Street, off Broadway. So um, if you are looking for them, they're Tom Ford's. And I am going to treat myself to another pair before the year is out. Probably still big frame. So that's it. Bye.